Attacking ground turrets can be challenging for new pilots, but also a great way to exercise spacecraft control in varying levels of atmosphere while both evading and employing fire. While attacking ground turrets is mostly a PVE skill currently, we can expect it to not always be that way, especially with the upcoming Theaters of War mode and as more and more capital ships become flight ready. While there are many ways to attack turrets, here's a method that we found works well for many ship types. It's worth noting that this method relies heavily on the use of missiles to destroy some, if not all, of the turrets. Gunslingers can definitely benefit from this video, just be cautious to remain evasive. First, fly directly above the bunker so that you are looking straight down at it. Try and set yourself up at least 4,000 meters above, using either a mission marker or QT target as your marker. Next, dive down at the bunker. The steeper your dive angle, the better. World War II bombers dove at about 70 degrees, but they couldn't hover like we can in Star Citizen. As such, the closer to 90 degrees you can achieve, the less likely it is that the turrets will be obscured. This works both ways, so be ready to evade. At approximately 2,000 meters from your target, or when you get a targeting indication on your HUD, slow to somewhere between 50 and 100 meters a second. Note that lower speed will give you a greater missile firing window, while a higher speed will increase evasiveness a bit, but limit your ability to get your salvos away before needing to switch to guns. If you desire, enable cruise control to reduce task loading. Just don't forget that it's on. Use dynamic strafe to smoothly evade fire. Something akin to a skidded roll will work well because the turrets cannot lead the pip, but with a steady roll, your own shot should be stable enough to hit and your missile locks will be maintained. Where possible, you can increase evasiveness with random juking, which will be less stable, but increase survivability. Be cautious with juking too much, especially in limited visibility or nighttime attacks. It can be quite easy to maintain range to the target, but find your attitude and altitude way off, often resulting in a fiery end to your attack. If you're planning to use missiles, and we do recommend it if you can, your firing window will generally begin with the detection of the turrets at about 1800 meters. For light fighters, we recommend four size one missiles for each turret. Larger missiles are definitely possible, but will only narrow your firing window and due to the damage output are less effective than multiple size ones. The minimum range for size one missiles is 750 meters, which will give you a bit over a thousand meters to play with, corresponding to about 20 seconds if you are controlling your speed. Cross section or EM missiles work best against turrets because their IR signatures are quite low. As for ships, the Gladius is great for missile attacks against turrets because it has the ability to both evade really well, while also carrying up to 16 size 1 missiles. With four racks, you can launch four missiles at once to take out a turret in a single salvo, and all four turrets in quick succession. Other ships are definitely viable, with some standout examples being the Gladiator, Hornet, and Arrow, all with four racks. We hope this video helped you. As always, feel free to contact us via YouTube comments or on our Discord with any questions or additional tips you might have. Until next time, I'll see you in the verse, and have a good night.